I was dying. Like everybody in the book, I was dying. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrew. Today we're gonna be reviewing And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie, the, <laughs> the queen of mystery herself. And I plan to do this as a completely spoiler filled discussion on this book, but let me just tell you that I'm gonna, I would highly, 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 highly recommend that you, if you have not read the book, do not watch this video. Like, I am almost like don't even want to make the video and put it on the internet because I do not want anyone to be spoiled of this book because it is, in my opinion, a masterpiece. I think it is one of the, <laughs> it's one of my, yes, it is like an all-time favorite book for me at this point, I, for sure, because it was so, it was so good. I mean, that's really all I can say. That's what I'm going to say, spoiler free, but this is quite an iconic story and it's very popular. I'm, I've, after finishing this and reading more about Agatha Christie, she is the number one best-selling author ever. So, and like the little blurb about her on my library app says like she, <laughs> the only thing that's ever outsold her is the Bible and Shakespeare. So she is a queen for sure. And I plan to read everything that she has written because I think I finished this in maybe two, it had to be two days, had to be two days, maybe three days because I was dying to know. I was dying, like everybody in the book. I was dying to know who, oh, and just the way that it's revealed and the structure of the the book and the, oh, it's a masterpiece. But I mean, what can you say? You have your, you have your 10 characters, they all come to this island and then by, you know, they're all invited by, I'm gonna, this is where I'm gonna get into spoilers, okay? This is where I would recommend that you click off and go read the book. It's on Scribd, I have a link in my description. You can get two months free. I would highly recommend you just download that listen to it and then come back. The audiobook was phenomenal, but please do not watch this if you have not read it because you should absolutely read it. But seriously, don't watch it. So I mean, just from the title, you know where the book will end, but that is irrelevant because just the writing and the process of what happens I loved it so much and I hardly knew anything when I started this book. But I, again, I feel like even if I was spoiled for a lot of things, I still would have had, I think it still would have been a five-star book because I think on a reread, it's gonna be even, it's gonna be a five-star book. Like every time I read it, I would bet you good money. But the fact that all these people come together onto this island and it is just so creepy, but like in this ominous, overlooming threat kind of way and you just, oh. but they all come to this island <laughs> under these different false pretenses in a way. And then eventually it's come, like you come to find out that the person who has invited them to the island, they're not sure where the person is. There's supposed to be a boat that's supposed to be coming. And oh my God, I suspected everybody. And you get everybody's perspective, which makes this so well written. And just, I even think I remember reading like trying to spoil myself for this book because I was like, well, how does it end? Because like, and there's like a, I remember reading this like paragraph that was supposed to be, I thought that, you know, someone shot someone and then someone commits suicide, which is what happens at the end. But I thought the person I thought from what I read of an excerpt of a spoiler, which I'm so glad wasn't an actual spoiler. Well, it was, but like, I thought they were saying the person who killed themselves was the person who did everything and, just the fact, just, oh my God, it was so good. It was so, it was so, I don't know what else to say. I'm just gonna keep saying it was so good, but let's talk about why it was so good. So you just, you have them all come to the island and then they figure out slowly. And like when you, when, when the little monogram plays and it's like, you so did murder such and such. And then like the doctor has, you know, he was drunk when he's performing the surgery and then the judge was like, he condemned that person to be executed, even though the jury thought that they were, that he was innocent. And then like the religious lady who was crazy, Emily Brent, see, I remember their names. Emily Brent was like, 
she had a maid and she was I don't know who I don't know if it was a maid she had a lady who was helping her and then she just let the lady get hit by a train and then oh what's her name I just know because they always said their last names Miss Claythorne Miss Claythorne and then like the the guy who ended up having 21 men killed when he was like in the battle just it was it was so good but the thing it just the way it's written like I can't even I honestly you could listen to me and you could still enjoy this because Agatha Christie's just atmospheric writing is wow just wow I completely understand why she is the icon that she is now I just the whole entire book I was so convinced that my favorite part was the ending my favorite part of the book was definitely the ending and the whole scene with the cops and then them discussing like what happened and who was behind what and then there's the part where the judge has that like oh and it was so good because every time that I would suspect a person they would die every time I started to suspect someone that person would die and I just, it was so, it was so good. It was so good. I don't have anything else to say besides just, like, every time you would suspect someone, they would be the next person to die. And, like, people would be so suspicious of everybody else. And, like, the, the tie-in with the nursery rhyme and how they, I mean, even at the beginning of the book, you get an excerpt of the nursery rhyme, and I was like, oh, okay, so like, this is just what's gonna happen in the book. And that is what happens in the book. It literally follows the nursery rhyme. So again, the fact that it is a masterpiece is because you know exactly how each and every murder is going to happen, but you are constantly on your toes trying to figure out who done it, but you never know, and there is no one that you can trust, and even when the person behind it all is killed, he's not really killed, and it's just, I, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. I, I don't know what else to say. I 100% will absolutely be reading more Agatha Christie. I'm for sure gonna be reading Miss Marple and Perot and her other standal, like I'm, everything I can get my hands on, <laughs> all, everything I can get my hands on, I will be reading it all because it was amazing. This book was amazing. And <laughs> we're going to segue into a little bit about the adaptation. I watched the 2015 BBC adaptation and it was also phenomenal. I preferred the ending of the book because I wish that in the movie or the, it's like a mini series. I wish that in the mini series they had like Oh, I would have loved to have seen the two cops on screen trying to unravel the mystery and the way the adaptation is. I don't like it as much because in the book, Miss Claythorne commits her suicide and that's how she goes. She goes not knowing any answers, but in the adaptation, I mean, I'm not going to tell you how that. If you haven't seen the adaptation, I definitely recommend it, but I definitely prefer the ending of the book. Like I wish that the, but everything before that in the adaptation was so good and setting the atmosphere and like the whole, you know, and I think his name's, I'm pretty sure Aiden Turner's in it. And I mean, if you like, just look at this man, look at this man. If, if seeing this man, like looking like that, I mean, he is delicious and just, there were so many actors in it that I knew from other stuff too. Like it's such a good adaptation. It's a very good adaptation. So obviously I highly recommend the book. Um, I know Agatha Christie, like I said, is really popular, but now I understand why. Now I get, it all makes sense now. I just, I've heard her name so many times and like, I love mystery. Like I've been, I, you know, Truly Devious is like, I really enjoy Truly Devious. And I know they talk about Agatha Christie and Sherlock, which I am still making my way through Sherlock Holmes also. I think I'm gonna be like, I love a good mystery. I love a good mystery. So I'm gonna be picking up a lot more mysteries this year, I think, especially like even classic mysteries because just, it's a classic for a reason. I mean, wow. <laughs> so I think that's all I have to say about this one. I will leave my Instagram, Goodreads, and Twitter in the description for you to check out if you would like. Thanks, have a great day, bye.